Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a really cool episode for you today. I get asked a lot which which speakers I prefer, you know? I've had Klipsch, the RP280s. I've had actually two sets of Klipsches. I've had the, the R26s, the RP280s, and now I have the SVS Ultras. So those are all great, you know, floor staying speakers if you want to have them for your left and your, your right channel. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to test my RP280s versus my SVS Ultra Towers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play uh, music, same music song, same uh, movie uh, scene, and I'm going to record it in the same position that you're seeing now. Um, microphone's gonna be in the same position, camera's gonna be in the same position, and I'm gonna see which one sounds best. So I just ran Odyssey for this one, and I'm gonna run Odyssey again whenever I do the, the Ultra Tower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play everything in stereo so that you don't get anything else in the mix. So subwoofer is going to be off, center channel is going to be off, all the rest of the, you know, the 11 channels or <laughs> nine other channels are going to be off. So let's see here. What else do I need to tell you about this? All right, check it out. So you see this little tape measure down here? It is 13 inches from the entertainment center. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you real quick. I'm going to put the camera back here, but um, this is before the audio test, so nothing is getting messed up. And like I said, there's, there's some wires back here. Please don't worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that this weekend and have some wire management coming. So I'll get that taken care of. But they're 13 inches. The blue box is 13 inches from the entertainment center. It's a 15 by 15 box. So it's the same amount, same distance from the wall, same toe in uh, on both sides. And I'm gonna try to keep the toe in on the same between the speakers. Uh, that's gonna matter, I think, more on the Klipsch than the SVS, but we'll get into that later. But that's it. I mean, uh, I'm really excited to do this test. So we're going to go ahead and actually see together which one sounds the best. If you guys, if there's a little controversy, go ahead and make comments below. Uh, I, re <laughs> I really enjoy reading those comments. As you guys know, I, I, I comment back all the time. So thanks you guys for, for engaging on the channel. Thanks you guys for supporting me for so long. Really appreciate that stuff. And I, I really like doing this, these, these type of videos for you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the actual test.
dumb as he dresses. Close it off, gentlemen. So just like that, I am done with the Klipsch versus SVS shootout for the, the floor standing towers. And, well, the floor standers are towers, whatever you guys want to want to call them. Um, this, this video was a lot of fun. I haven't listened to my Klipsches in a long time. And they, they, they've been up there in my videos, and I haven't necessarily listened to them in about... It's, it's, it's been a while. So I've been listening to the SVS Ultra Towers since I got them. And I, I'm, I'm super impressed with those right now. But besides that... Uh, I'm going to start with this. I did this video yesterday and I uploaded it to YouTube and I think since I was playing The Dark Knight as I was talking over it in the background in the background um, that it got blocked. So if you guys saw a notification about this video earlier today, um, I'm, I'm trying to make it up right now and, 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 and film this again. <clears throat> I'm going to try to say exactly what I said last time, but you know, if I miss anything then it is what it is. All right, so the, the speakers performed great. I mean, I really liked them for the music. Music was an awesome test because um, the, it was the same exact track and they were in the same position, they were the same volume. Um, obviously the gains are gonna be different because, I mean, Odyssey was ran, so it's, it's gonna you know, tell you exactly what it's supposed to have. Um, so, so I left all that alone and the only thing that, that I did uh, was, was basically just play the music. I mean, every, everything else was as close to as, as, as true to form as possible. 
So with the Klipsches, the Klipsches sounded great. I really enjoyed those. I played those first, <clears throat> and I ended up switching to the SVS after that. So um, the sound was, whenever I uh, were, was listening to it in person, the sound was really good with uh, the, the Ultra Towers, but the Klipsches, whenever I was listening to them, they kind of sounded like the, the volume and the fullness, like the, 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 end, like the body was, was, was a little lacking whenever I was listening to those songs. And I'm not sure if it was gonna come through in the, the video itself, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and rewatch that. And uh, you know, you, you guys can watch it too, and you guys can make up your own opinions to see which one you guys like the most. Um, but besides that, like I said, like the, the, the test that I did, I, I really enjoyed the, the towers a little better. So I think the towers won on the music part portion of the, the video. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about the movies. So whenever I watch the, the, the Batman clip with the, the Klipsches, I'm going to go ahead and start with this. When it, the way I filmed it was I started with the Klipsches after I, I did Odyssey. I started with the Klipsches and I did the Batman movie clip. I did the music. I redid Odyssey, did music with the towers, and then did the Batman movie clip with the towers itself. So um, just starting off, I heard a, a fair amount of audible distortion coming out of the left channel whenever the Batcopter or, or whatever it's called. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Whenever that thing was taken off, the tweeter, or the, the drivers themselves, they were going crazy. And I heard a fair amount of distortion, so I, I, I couldn't isolate it to figure out if it was coming from the drivers or the, the tweeter itself. But it, it was it was decently like it, it was fairly you know noticeable. So what I ended up doing is I paused the video, I reran it a couple times, but then I ended up turning down the volume because you know I, I wanted to save the speakers because I I didn't know if it was going to do any damage or not. And then I heard you know distortion from the right one, and then I just you know turned the volume down. So, like I said, the vo the order of it, nothing was was changed in between the entire series. So this was the very first starting point. So everything else was kept the same. Um, you know, e even though I'm gonna play the video, I'll you know have the music come before and everything. But you know, j just so you guys know that I did change the volume, but it was the very first thing I did. So it reflected on every other clip that was recorded. So, like I said, audible distortion on the clipshes. And um, the bass was really good on that too, but uh, I noticed that whenever I played it with the towers, um, I think on both clips you'll see that the, the camera shakes uh, w with with the actual backcopter scene, and uh, it shakes. It like I, I'm like right right now you're watching this. I'm right behind the the, the couch. Uh, I kind of like I popped up behind here. I'm poking my head out. You know, I was listening to the whole thing, and then I had my hands on the couch. So whenever it, the backcopter scene happened. The, the entire couch was just shaking and it was like it was great i had to actually like get up and make sure that the subwoofer wasn't on <laughs> after that because uh, uh it, it it sounded awesome and i think that's due to these these actual um drivers down here as you see we have one here another one over here where we at boop so we have one on each side well one two so i have four eight inch drivers um, so that there's, there's a difference in these speakers and, um, that's, I think that has something to do with the experience that I got whenever I was doing the test. So with the window, like, uh, the, the sweet spot for this, this room, well, actually not for this room, but for these, uh, clip speakers is pretty much where the camera is. And, uh, if you have a home theater to where, you know, you have a dedicated home theater and you're, you're back far enough and you're, all your seats are pretty much next to each other then I think the clipshes will do really well. But if you have a room like this, you know, like I have, you know, couches on each side. Uh, if you have a room like that, I think the SVSs will work a little better. The reason why I say that is look at the, the clipshes. Look at the, the, the tweeter. Like I kind of think, I kind of think of that as like the window of sound. And that's why towing in the clipshes is, is really important um, because <clears throat> you want to be in that sweet spot. So like I said, if you're on either side of the, the, the the TV or the the speakers themselves you're not going to be in that you know sweet spot or the window of sound like I like to call it um, I I kind of think of them like a when you're filming and you know you're pointing at something you're gonna have you know what you're pointing at on the film but you know there's gonna be other stuff in the shot but you can't see it because it's outside of that you know that thing that you're pointing at so that's just a little analogy that I, that I like to think about whenever I think about you know the clip tweeters. The SVS tweeters don't have that problem because they're um, spherical. So pretty much any anything that you're, you're any position you're going to be in front of the speakers, you're going to be in that uh, sweet spot in the window of sound. Well, you're not going to have a window of sound with that, but 
pretty much any place that you are in front of it, you're going to be, you know, enjoying the, the sound that you're getting because it's spherical. So it's kind of like a dome. It kind of just radiates out in all directions rather than just being kind of like a musket, <laughs> kind of like a musket shot with, uh, with, uh, the Klipsch tweeters. But yeah, like, uh, this video is getting a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can cut it short here. Um, this was a really cool test. If you guys like these type of tests that I do, um, I, I just like to, you know, just test things out and just to see how they are. But I don't think that the Klipsches are an accurate uh, comparison to the, the towers. Um, and even then, I have the RP, RP series, which is kind of like their middle of the line. Uh, they have a flagship series, which is the RFs. And I just don't necessarily think that it's accurate to um, compare flagship to flagship. You know, people will say that all day long. Like, I mean, you, you have your RP-280s. Why, why aren't you testing these against the RP, or the, R set, the RF-7s? I mean, those are, those are Klipsch's flagship. I mean, you guys should be uh, comparing those. So I'm going to say this. The, if, 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 if that was accurate, then why don't people compare Klipsch's flagship subwoofer, which is R115? It has 400 watts RMS, 800 watts peak, and SVS's flagship subwoofer is uh, the PB16 Ultra. It's a 16 inch driver. It has 1500 watts RMS and over 5000 watts peak. So, I mean, just because things are flagship, flagship, it doesn't necessarily make it an accurate comparison. And uh, like, like I even said, whenever I was unboxing these, I, I, I said they're not a fair comparison, but I mean, people wanted this video, so I decided why not put it out. So uh, one last thing I will say, um, it, it seems like a lot of people think that I'm like brand centric and things like that. And I started this channel to give out the most accurate information possible. Anyone that knows me <laughs> knows that I'm going to give my opinion if it's wanted or not. So um, <laughs> uh, I, I will always tell you guys, I'll, I'll give you the straight dope, you know, I'll, I'll give it to you straight. I'll, I'll, I'm not, I'm not going to water it down or anything like that. If, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. If I ran this test and I legitimately thought the clip speakers were that much better than the, the Ultra Towers, then I would say it. People keep saying that since I'm an SVS affiliate that I have like a tendency towards, you know, SVS because if you guys, you know, buy this stuff, you know, I, I get paid. So um, that, that has no bearing on, on my opinions at all. Like I'm always going to keep my integrity over my paycheck. So um, I, I, just, I wanted to put that to rest because it, it kind of seems like it's, it's a recurring theme and I keep answering the same thing in the comments. So I just wanted to make a quick video about it. But like I said, I think two minutes ago that this video is getting long. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, uh, this short here. Uh, I really appreciate you guys for watching. I really like doing videos like this. If you guys like any of this stuff in the video, just go ahead and uh, either contact me on my Facebook page I can respond to those messages there. Leave a comment down below. If you guys want to see anything in general, leave a comment down below or you know contact me on Facebook. Uh, if you guys want to buy any of this stuff, go to that Facebook page or check out my links in the description. And uh, you guys should be able to find everything you need. If you can't find what you need, just go ahead and contact me and I'll, 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 send, a, I'll send a personal link over to you. I really appreciate you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Check you next time. Yeah.